We got to San Francisco at the first part of January, 1969. Remember, I left home in October of 68, so I finally got to California in January <laughs> of 1969. Yeah. We got to California and, and in January. For the first 25 days that we were there, it rained or drizzled every single day. <laughs> um, we couldn't get out to work because we couldn't, again, looking for our labor pool to get work, but the weather was so bad we couldn't find so what little money. We had a little room. We had to stay in a little rooming house, I guess it was. We had a room. Had one bed that we shared. But the line down the middle, you sleep on that side, I'm on this side. <laughs> yeah, all right, no problem. Yeah. So we're running low on food. So one day we get, we get up the next couple of mornings and George says, I'm going to go this way and see what I can find today. You go that way and let's see what we can come up with when we come back here in a couple of hours. I said, okay. Go down the street and then see this little deli was on the corner with people in there. So I said, oh. I go in the deli and people are, are buying things from the neighbor, from around the neighborhood there. And um, I said, well, I have no money, but we have to get some food. So this is first when those first big round mirrors came out that they put in the corner so the guy could see around what people were doing. But I didn't see it. So I'm walking down the aisle, jar of peanut butter, jar of jelly, <laughs> can of Campbell's pork and beans, loaf of bread. <laughs> come around the corner and I looked and see this mirror and I look into the mirror the old guy behind the counter was looking at me <laughs> so he had seen me do it so I walked up to the counter when everyone went out, I walked up to the counter and I said listen my friend and I just got in town we have no money nor do we have any food so I will tell you what yes I picked a few things up I said I got a loaf of bread jar of peanut butter, jar of jelly, and a big can of Campbell's pork and beans. I set them on the counter. I said, you can call the police on me, and if they take me to jail, I'm going to get three hots and a cot, right? <laughs> or you could let me take these things out, and when we get some money, we'll come back and pay you. He said, that's what we'll do, just like that. I'm wow. Like, and so I did, took these things, and... You and eventually, nice people. yes, I did back then. It was amazing. Uh, uh, just, you know, I perhaps I think it was maybe my demeanor too, you know, I, it was kind of that. Anyway, when we finally found some work and started working on the docks down in Frisco, I went back there and paid him. And whenever we needed anything, if we didn't have the money, we'd go in there and say, George, I got such and such. And, you know, it went like that. So that was good. Anyway, we got along well. <laughs> 